Hello and welcome to another 5 Minute Tech Tip. This is Dave Casuto with SF Tech Training on a tech tip on InDesign and styles, namely paragraph styles. If you are using InDesign and you are not using styles, you are using it the wrong way, I'm afraid to say. You're wasting a lot of time and energy for you and the future version of you and everybody else you're working with. So what are styles? Paragraph styles, namely, are essentially just saved formats. So you can use them over and over again. And if you decide to change that style, you only have to change it in one place and not in 50 different places. So you're going to give yourself a lot of consistency across the board. You're going to have very ease of, um, of utility and application. And um, you're just going to see it's going to save you a lot of time. So let's just see how it all works. So if you don't have it already, you want to go to Window, go to Styles, and then open up to the Paragraph Styles. And it will group it together with Character Style. I'm going to do another video on that in a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to bring up Paragraph Styles right here. And I've got a few of them already. So when I click on this one right there, it tells me that this is known as the Subhead. This has already been created. Okay, now if I want to apply this same one to here, all I got to do is click on it. Notice I'm not even highlighting the whole thing because this is a paragraph style. I just simply click and look at that. It's done. Let me come down to another one here. Just simply click here and bam, that's done. Okay, fantastic, wonderful. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually show you how to create one from scratch. So this one is now, actually let me use this one here. Um, cause this plus sign actually means something different. We'll talk about in another video, but this one is a little more pure. So I'm going to change this. All right. So I want to change, let's just say the font to something else. Okay. I'll just change this maybe to impacts. Okay. There that is. That's great. I'm going to maybe make it a little bit bigger wonderful and then i'm going to choose a different color let's just choose this nice little red color okay and there you have it so i've made this so what you typically want to do with styles is create it on the front end meaning i'm going to show you what the back end looks like in a little bit but you want to actually create it here inside of the document on the canvas and then what you're going to do is you're going to essentially highlight this and tell InDesign to make a style based off of this, okay? There's a million different styles. So let me show you this. If you notice over here in the bottom of the paragraph styles panel, there's this little icon there. If you hold down the Alt or Option key on the Mac, click on that and it will open up to your dialog box. If you don't click on the Alt or Option key, you're gonna get like an extra thing that appears there. So it's gonna be very confusing. So it's a nice little tip to do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this subheading version two that's great and look whatever here it tells me all right fantastic this is all the stuff that i've created there's impact there's 21 there's the color cmyk awesome and then you'll notice there's a whole bunch of things here as well okay so you will see that you can change everything here on the fly if you want to this is just a basic video so i just want you to see all the things that you might want to do the paragraph rule, you might be wondering, well, how did he get that little line underneath there? That's known as a paragraph rule. So I could either turn it off or turn it on. I can, you know, make it so, let me see, it's going to be the rule below. And you can see that's why it's green. I can make that a little bit thinner. All right, that's great. And then maybe you're changing some of these other things. Maybe you're doing an entire paragraph. You want to do drop cap or you want to work with bullets and numbering, things like that. All right, so this is all good to go. I'm going to click OK. And now, there it is. Okay, let me come back to that again. Double click it. And one thing I want to make sure that you have is this apply style to selection. Because if you don't do that, then if you try to change it later on, it will not actually change the original one. Okay, so just wanted to make sure I got to that. Let me cancel this. Come back to here. And now very easily, I can now change this. Let me come to where my other guys there, subheading two, subheading two. Okay. Now let's watch the magic happen where I'm going to change it on the paragraph styles panel and let's watch them all change. So I double click on that and then I decide, you know what? That color is not exactly what I want. So let me go over here to my, I always forget where this is. 
character color. Sorry about that. Okay, let's change this to green. Wonderful. I click OK, and lo and behold, all of them are fixed. Okay, all of them change. It's awesome. Okay, and I could do the same thing with like bullets and numbering, right? All kinds of good stuff there. So I'm going to do another video on working with bullets and numbering in InDesign, but also how to make it into a style. So our five minutes are up. So come back, stay tuned for paragraph styles, uh, character style, and also guess what? Object styles, which are awesome, huge time savers. All right, so we'll see you in the next video. Feel free to subscribe, share, comment, like, all that good stuff, and visit SF Tech Training for um, our website and any information if you want to book a class, all that good stuff. We are there. So I'll see you in the next video.